If people had this, it would look so weird. Hi everybody and welcome to Cats and Pets. Have you ever seen a cat blink and it looks a little off? Kind of reminds me of that scene in Men in Black, which I'm not sure I can legally show, so maybe I'll just link it. You know in the first one where Will Smith's chasing after the guy at the very beginning, he does like the little blinky thing with his eyes? No? Okay. Maybe you've seen your cat sleeping with her eyes kind of like partly open, and you see that little bit of like fleshy eyelid thing kind of on the edges. Have you ever wondered what that was or why that was? If you knew what it was. You knew what it was or why it was if you knew what it was. Tongue twister. Well that little part you might see now and then is actually your cat's third eyelid and it's very important to your cat. And really you can kind of see it all the time at the very inner edges of their eye. But let's start at the beginning. Inner eyelids of your cat are more commonly called palpebra tertia. Palpebra tertia. Something like that. But it's more commonly called the nictating membrane or the third eyelid. Even though it might look a little weird, it's actually really important in maintaining the health of your cat's eye. And it's not just cats that have it. Dogs do, birds do, camels, snakes, I think. In fact, it's pretty much standard among mammals and birds. And the fact that humans don't have one is actually kind of strange. So what do they actually do? Well, the third eyelid, like your normal eyelid, has the ability to cover up the entire cornea. But unlike the normal protection that you get from your eyelid, like you might close them if like a whole bunch of dust is blowing around or like sand is blowing in the breeze, if you're at the desert or the beach or something. Probably beach, let's go beach. The inner eyelid acts as like a little windshield wiper blade. So it comes across and removes like debris and junk from the surface of the eye. And at the same time redistributes tears over the entire cornea. Remember, cats and other animals don't exactly have fingers where they can like wipe out their eye if they get something in them. It's believed that the third eyelid functions as a way to protect your cat's eye while like moving through like tall grass or like while hunting prey. So why don't you see it all the time? Well you kind of do. When a cat is alert, the inner eyelid is mainly hidden in your cat's eye socket. And only a small portion is visible in your cat's inner eye. Like the little corner edges right here. And this is where things get interesting. When your cat is relaxing or sleeping or blinking, they have these skeletal muscles in their head which actually retract the eye a little bit. And when that happens, the inner eyelid just like passively slides over the eyeball some. So imagine you kind of have the eyeball here and you have this inner eyelid that wants to slide across and it's gonna hold taut but when your cat relaxes the eyeball actually comes in a little bit and this just slides across which is kind of wild but it's also pretty cool so i guess the eyeball is actually moving in and out a little bit which i've never noticed but it's pretty crazy i mean maybe that's what human eyeballs actually do but i don't know eyes are just crazy anyway so yeah just imagine something tight and like when you pull it back it kind of slides across. If you want to know a little bit more detail about like anatomy and like the inner workings of that stuff, a lot of the information I got for this video is from a Scientific American article and I'll link that down in the description below. So some third eyelids are more exposed or visible than others. For instance, Siamese cats is actually a little bit easier to see the third eyelid. However, the visibility of the third eyelid should be pretty consistent throughout a cat's life. If you suddenly see your cat's third eyelid a little bit more or it's kind of sticking out some more, that might actually be a sign of a medical problem and you should get it checked out by your vet. Also, I'm not sure what makes it the third eyelid. I previously called it the second eyelid but maybe it's supposed to be one, two. Hey, Sarah, but can you come here quick, sec? I'm gonna ask the expert. What? You're on camera. What? From so, what? do you know why it's called the third island? Um, like, I guess that there has to be. Is there a sec? Well, are these considered one and two? Well, or is there a second one? What? I wasn't sure. Like, yeah, do you have a. <laughs> I was like, is there an outer and an inner? I just think this is just one, right, for us. I guess so. <laughs> I thought maybe it was like one, two, and you count or something. I'm no, not really... I don't know. So, they don't have. I thought it was like there was like three, like this, and then like maybe one that came up from the side. Wait, wait like a third crossing thing? No, yeah. I don't think it's that crazy. Oh. Is the bottom one? Because their eyes aren't exactly like ours either, so maybe this is considered like one and two. I don't know. I don't know, you're the cat person, you make videos. Why are you I, I, I did some Googling, <laughs> I just said like, what is the second island? I was like, did you mean the third island? I'm like, no, I need the second one. Well, thanks for your help. Yeah, I, I got nothing. If you know, let me know down in the comments below. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Also, hitting the like button really helps me out too. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.